and that way we've got all those vehicles running away now. They're all going to run their own little lines. We can make line two cover that and that, and back down to the centre, and that should distribute people out. So we'll delete all them now. You want to go there, up to there, down to there, and back again. Theory is that should actually work, but line two's now got so many things on it I need to take some off. So go to depot. Go to depot. Go to depot. My 9 and 10 are using part 2. My 9 can use terminal 1. There. In theory that should work. Also, that covers a lot of the town in one scoop. <laughs> I may have just reduced my railway traffic for now, but until people work out the bus route, it'll be fine. Right, what I can do is... Actually, I'm going to have a look at the lines that I made, the really small ones. Like the line 7. That's a big line. Actually, line 7, we wanted to look at you. You're there. That's an effective line, but it's not a very efficient line, is it? It means that the road vehicles are actually taking a very long time to get around. 137 seconds. Two's taking long enough, but it's actually starting to get there. Line ten's already in profit. Maybe, maybe that system is actually better than running the different line. So I actually just made a, a discovery there that's better than what I thought. Line 10 is actually making some money. That's only... Let's change that to a little colour we can see better. There we go. That's only a four station stop. But that's actually making money already from a short start like that. But by line 9, which is on the same setting, is not making hardly anything. Why is that, though? Because is it going... It's going around residentials. Probably not providing any money because it's not hitting anything commercial. Maybe a stop on there would do as well. Try that. So upper staining comes out straight into there. No. Upper staining straight into there. Yes. Alexander Road, Springfield Road, Chester Road back into upper staining. So it's got one station extra now. Let's see if that changes anything over the period of time. I know we're just tweaking little things there, but find out. How's line one doing? 20 of 30. Its finances, much better than its costs. That's good. Right. 
line seven is it's way too big. But the other question is, that's not got anything on, that's an empty vehicle, that's quite a full vehicle, that's a completely empty vehicle. So you've not got many passengers in the vehicles on this line. These three vehicles are filling and emptying very quickly because they're on a short route. Keep closing the line manager by mistake. Don't think line 2 is losing as much as it was because I've reduced the number of things on it, but what if 2 would do? Move 1 onto line 10. Just set up the uh, replacements as well. There we go, replacements are in there. Line 5 and line 6, they're just making a profit. In fact, rightly, line 5, yeah, it's in line, five, line 5 and line 8. Don't think line 8 is big enough to make a good. Where is it? I think the Chester Road bit's slowing that down. Okay, we're going to skip Chester Road, so it's no longer going to Chester Road now. They're running empties. So if they're running empty, why are they running empty? Because there's no demand? Well, that one has one person in it now. No, I wanted the... There we go. So there's a poor supply of routes. on random person, we've got a load of details, they're going to work, they go by foot, where are they working? That building there. <sighs> they work up there. Well, they use the lines, but they go to the shop by foot, which is there. That's a longer distance, but if I could get them to convert to bus line, maybe it's the distance and the time it takes to get there. Move preference is cheap. Nah, uh, okay. I understand why. It's because the price of this is going to be more expensive than walking. So it's pricing, which I can't affect. I can't change the price of a ticket. The only way I can change that is by changing the speed of the travel, which means nothing. Right, industrial building, environment 54%, blah, 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 blah. accessibility. It can access 333 employees. Right, so I, I actually need to be doing residential ones. Right. Huh? They go to work, they go to the shop by foot. See, that, that, that's it again. The person's living here. There's bus route here that takes them to there, and then there's nothing that supplies there. Oh. Maybe line two could su supply more stations then. 
If I go there... And there... Here as well... And... I think that should do. So line two, we'll change you around a bit. That down. Right. What we want is it to go out. On the way out, it goes to Windsor Road via there. It then comes back through High Street and through Main Street again. Down this way, through there, back into Upper Staining. Now then, see how that does over the next year. We'll let that run for a bit because otherwise we're going to just be constantly changing things and making no progress. Also, we have a 4 million expense sheet that we need to get rid of. Which is not going to happen quickly over the next year. We just need to work on it. I wonder if we could uh, supply some things into these. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe.